नमस्कार दोस्तों आप देखना शुरू कर चुके हैं विकी क्रिकी Of course, we have specific plans for absolutely everybody in the tournament. There's a lot of planning and strategy goes behind the thought process that the bowling unit needs to execute. We have fantastic backroom staff to do all that uh, information digging, using all the resources, and hopefully aiding everybody who comes into the game. So, uh, Coach Ben McCullum leads that really well, and I think at a ground like Charge, you need to accept that. You have a lot of things going against you, so trying to do the basics as well as you can, I think, is really important. I think both sides um, did a reasonable job of that. I mean, if you look you know, after the game, how uh, sides bowled and bowled okay, but I think it's, it's always going to be a high-scoring game when the boundaries are so small and the wicket is so good. No, I don't think so. I think when you look at our batting lineup, we have a number of match winners in that lineup, so it's a very difficult one to sort of get up the order, particularly when you've a world-class batsman all-rounder in Andre Russell. Uh, he's an incredible striker of the ball. Uh, when he comes up the order, obviously everybody shifts down a little bit. So, giving the context of the game, I think we went from a position and probably being behind the eight ball a little bit because Delhi bowled well. To a position of strength and looking like we were going to win it, but however it wasn't meant to be tonight. And we'll move on. I think we've played some fantastic cricket throughout this tournament so far. I think Delhi have been the, the team who have looked most promising early on in the tournament. So to come out and produce a fantastic game against them, but not get over the line, there are huge positives to take. I, I don't think a, a lot went wrong. I think a, to come to Sharjah, you're always going to expect a, a score of 200 plus in a game, um, and potentially they got um, you know a couple of boundaries too many. But we were still in the game right until the 20th over, so maybe it was a 220 wicket. Maybe I'm just being a batsman. Um, so I, I don't think we got a lot wrong today. I think we've had outstanding days out with the ball so far in the tournament. Our batting came to the forefront of it today. Um, Mr. Shrana played really well. Um, so Raul Shapati as well coming in for his first game in the tournament with limited opportunities to take time, struck the ball beautifully. Um, so there are huge positives. Well, I think when he backs down the order and produces something like that, it's almost a, a more difficult situation to go in. It's a huge positive. I think any IPL team uh, looking for a guy to bat at six or seven and come in and score a strike rate of 250, 300, it's almost Andre Russell like. So I think the argument would be why wouldn't you keep him where he is when he does such a positive job? I think Sunil's the type of player that can produce match-winning innings throughout IPL tournament. Uh, I think if you look back at, at his performances over the years, it hasn't necessarily been a string of runs together, it's been his impact in the game. I think he takes always takes the positive option, which sum, surmises how we want to play our cricket. Again, very similar question. I think sticking to our basics, T20 can be overcomplicated at times, and I think when you play at a small ground, you can delve into people's mistakes a little bit too much. So I, I would say going back and looking at the execution of our Yorkers, wide Yorkers, length balls, bounces, and being honest about how we did today, and being honest about how we need to move forward and learn is an important part of our campaign. दोस्तों अगर आपको ये मेरा वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो मुझे सपोर्ट करने के लिए मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करिए वीडियो को लाइक करिए और अपने क्रिकेट प्रेमी दोस्तों को इस वीडियो को शेयर कीजिए धन्यवाद